Hey guys, Jake here, and welcome back to another episode of Pear Tree Ranching. Okay, back again. Busy day today, as always. We're gonna try to get some filming done today. So Kathy's here to help film. Got her horse, Wyatt. Um, we've been doing a series for our Patreon. You can check that out. Patreon.com slash Pear Tree Ranch. That's where all of our kind of how-to and learning series are at. We're doing a lead change training series there with her horse Wyatt so we're gonna film that I've got little Rubicon he's about to get his third ride so I got him all warmed up and ready to mount and then you can see Fonda in the background there she's riding the good old gray horse so I'm gonna set you guys on the fence I'm gonna get the drone in the air see if we can't get the drone to film this ride and uh, Rubicon's first day riding on the playground for ride number three <laughs>
And there's ride number three. That's not his first time, obviously, out here on the playground. We've been doing that since he was little, but first ride out here and his last ride was weeks ago. So he's got three rides spread out over a couple of months. It's very infrequent um, work with this horse because he's young, little colt, still a little stallion. And yeah, it's nice to have his buddy, the gray horse out here and Fonda on there. You could see there was some moments she saw a good opportunity to just kind of be in front. So if I needed a lead horse, she was there and that's just a helpful thing to have for young horses or inexperienced horses and <coughs> excuse me and that's just a great little session of him getting exposed out here over the bridge under the car wash over a pole cruising around rubbing walking and just having a good experience which is all i'm really trying to do right now not really train him just give him good experiences so he's confident to come out get saddled get rode no big deal all right Let's find us another horse. Okay, so Kathy is just warming up Wyatt for us to film that lead change session for the Patreon. Um, I was just deleting emails while she was doing this and I'm seeing comments on the YouTube, people asking about the flipping over horse that Ryan Rose did the evaluation on. So the story with that horse is that lady called me for help with the horse. Ryan was in town, him and I were teaching a two week course together. And so um, we had her bring the horse over here and for Ryan's YouTube, he did the evaluation on the horse and I'm so booked that horse can't come till June and it is the end of March. So that's when that horse will be coming in. So you guys will get to follow along on progress and see some of that with Pear Tree Ranching and then probably the full training um, videos and breaking down how we're gonna fix that, that's gonna probably be over on the Patreon. So that's the plan with the rearing and flipping over horse. All right, I'm gonna get the drone in the air for Wyatt. Kathy's gonna get the camera going and you're gonna get to see how do we film our Patreon videos. All right, see you in a bit. I don't know how much you get to see before the GoPro itself died, but we'll have some drone footage and I'll roll in some of the stuff off my phone that we do to film the Patreon videos, but some successful lead changing with Mr. Wyatt. Successful videoing, we love that. And um, yeah, it's always an adventure. We have to be patient and you know, a lot of what I show on the Patreon stuff, we try to have it not be um, staged or pre-done. You know, it's real, real stuff. The horse is learning in front of you and when stuff goes sideways, like he was leaning and getting the bit pulled through his mouth and was like, what the heck? Oh, fix it, rub him, go again. Um, real life stuff um, versus staged. So. That's some of the fun we got going over there. All right, you gotta find me some more horses to play with.
Hey, how about that? There's Miss Mays. Saw her in one of the early episodes and just working on confidence building with her. Um, she's riding pretty nice and able to get along. The owner was just down to visit not too long ago, was able to ride her horse and have fun. And we're constantly just working for ways to build this horse's confidence. So swinging that stick and string and making that string whir and make loud noises while we're going uh, to keeping the horse from getting jumpy when we do it is part of confidence building and exposure. And uh, we've been doing those kind of last things, little things like that to just um, spit shine the horse before she gets ready to go home at the end of the week. So good stuff. Let's find us another horse. Okay, we're over at the classroom and I'm just going to grab these feed bags and we're going to play with Champ. So you've seen Champ in the past working on the pole. Has a really good pullback in there. It's kind of the biggest thing probably holding him back. And it just comes out of feeling trapped. Horses are naturally claustrophobic, so you got to be mindful of that. But at the same time, if you're not getting them really good off the halter consistently, if you do too much liberty where they're not having to yield their uh, nose and neck and then the feet off that halter, easy thing to accidentally uh, have in there. Uh, so what we've done is in the beginning, in that session that you guys have seen on Pear Tree Ranch, and we just went to kind of rub his face and take a hold with the halter a little bit, and it's, uh, and he sets back and pulls and pulls. So what we did is we shushed and shushed with the flag so that it was uncomfortable while he was pulling. Uh, we kind of make it loud so that when he chooses to quit pulling and come forward, that's what causes us to get quiet. Okay, instead of us getting quiet while he's pulling uh, and just going, oh, darn, or oh, baby, it's okay, we kind of helped add to that noise. If he wants to be loud, cool, we'll be loud. If he wants to be quiet, then I guess we'll be quiet. And then uh, what we've progressed to now is I've got these nice feed sacks, so we can be loud with them. And that's just shaking the thing. It's not like we're gonna chase him with it. And the goal is to try and scare the horse a little bit, just enough that they go, you're weird. And when they can't, when we can't scare them, they go, you're just being silly again. <clears throat> then they kind of win the game. And so we're going to try to get him startled a little bit, just enough that he kind of sits off and have that not work. So pulling doesn't get him comfort. And then um, when he tries to want to sniff the bag, be curious, we reward the curiosity. And that's going to be letting him sniff the bag, rubbing him with the bag, being quiet with the bag. And I've actually got two, so I have one for each hand. So we're going to go play with that. And that'll probably be the last horse that you guys get to see for the day. I'll set you up. Uh, he's over on the pole waiting. Just grabbing the camera and we'll go help see what we got. Okay, here we go.
pretty good. So what we did there is, as we approached, if he got bothered, we kind of kept it going till he looked and wanted to sniff. <clears throat> I took a little bit. He danced around and jumped around a bit. Positive note, he never pulled back really hard. He danced around and was scared, but he did it in a way where it was obvious he was scared, but he never sold out 100%. When a horse sells out 100%, <clears throat> it's no bueno and so we don't want to push him to that point that's too scared <clears throat> so we're trying to scare him just enough that they're uncomfortable and then what he's learned through previous training current training and such is that try to be curious try to be confident offer something positive so turning and facing was something positive there's a few times he kind of turned his butt he kicked me in the knee the other day with some of this play just being reactive and luckily my ninja skills kind of scooted out of the way and it just barely bumped me but that could be super dangerous okay so you got to be mindful when playing with this stuff to not get too close too fast and put yourself in a dangerous position <clears throat> so there were some few times where i shook it and kind of um, waited till his hip moved away and he faced up to put his nose on the back so turning and facing putting their nose on it to try to get curious immediately gets me to get quiet and slow down dancing around him so i'm being loud but i'm moving on the outskirts of his bubble till he tries to want to interact and then i get slow and then as we would kind of come towards his bubble if he tried to go what are you doing or you're just being weird i would immediately slow down before going into his bubble so that way i don't blow him up and push him away so that was kind of the setup there and then it's just a sack of air so you can't it doesn't hurt it's just loud um, to kind of bump him with it and pat him all over so that he gets used to that excessive noise excessive energy that isn't really about him where I live in Florida the Sun can be very strong but you still got to be on it, out in it for quite a while to get burnt now if I take that same energy and I magnify it with a magnifying glass it will burn you right away, right? You can start a fire with a magnifying glass in the sun. So when we focus energy, then yes, we want the horse to move. But when it's just loud and it's just energy, it's not focused on them. They need to learn to become confident with that. And that just takes time. And there's a difference between exposure. So this was some exposure and then training confidence using approach and retreat. And that's when we started slowing down and we're smooth with our approach and then take it away so that we make sure we're using a balance of exposing him to energy and training him to be confident using the technique of approach and retreat. So that's a nice little session and good progress with champ uh, hope you guys are enjoying pear tree ranching we got through quite a few today we got some filming fun done for our patreon members and uh, we're continuing to enjoy this beautiful weather down in sunny florida if you're enjoying what we're doing make sure you're clicking the like make sure you stay subscribed so you don't miss out on what's coming up next and patreon.com slash pear tree ranch if you want to um, join in the kind of the club there where there's a lot more of our step-by-step -step learning stuff all right i'm jake and this has been pear tree ranching